and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a compilation of my past Valentine's treat gifts for your inspiration. So if you want to how to make these, stick around. I'll show you how. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay, for this first time, I'm just going to take some Valentine sprinkles and I'm going to pour one small layer in the bottom of each one of these little hearts. Now, I got this heart at Dollar Tree. It's a silicone mold and I'm just going to fill them all just one layer on the bottom. Then I'm going to go ahead and take two of the almond bark squares and I'm just going to go ahead and put them in the microwave and I'm going to melt them. Then I'm just going to go ahead and fill each one of these cavities up and you don't have to go all the way to the top. Just kind of fill them up as much as you want to. And then once you get them all filled up, then we're going to shake it down a little bit just to make sure that we get all the air bubbles out. And then we're going to put it in the micro, I mean, we're going to put it in the freezer and freeze it. Next, after it sets, we're just going to go ahead and start pulling our mold apart. And then we're just going to start popping our hearts out. Now, I did some little ones and then I also got another silicone mold. I got it over at Target and um, I made some bigger ones as well. Okay, and those are the ones that I got at Target. And when I package these, I'm going to mix them up. I'm going to kind of do um, one big one, one little one, and keep alternating until I have my bag full. Now, I'm just using one of the little pretzel bags. It's just a silicone bag, and I'll give you a link for the ones I got. But it's just one of those that you put pretzels in. Then I'm just going to tie it off with a rubber band. I'm going to put a pink ribbon around the top part of it. I'm just going to tie a bow. And then I'm going to come back in with a super glue foam mounting um, strip, and I'm just going to attach some embellishments on this one. I just got these little hearts at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to attach them right at the bottom. It was really pretty quick and easy and it really turned out cute. This next one I'm just going to line my workstation with some parchment paper and then I'm going to take a piping bag with just a small um, tip that just has a little hole in the bottom of it. I'm going to put it into a glass to hold it in place while I pour my almond bark into it. Now I've already melted my almond bark. You don't need a lot for this because it a lot a little bit goes a long way. Then I'm going to take some pretzels and I'm going to lay them out on my workstation and I'm just going to pipe it like it's an envelope. So I'm just going to do the top um, like flap of the envelope and then I'm going to put an M&M right down at the bottom kind of like it's sealed with a kiss and I'm going to do a bunch of these. And then just let these dry. Just put them aside and let them dry when you get as many done as you want. Okay, next I'm going to take the same pretzels and I'm going to put a Hershey's Kiss on the middle of it. And then I'm going to bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes at 250 degrees until it melts. Then I'm just going to put a, um, an M&M right down into the middle of it and kind of push it down. And then I'm going to put these into to the um, freezer and I'm going to freeze them until they set up. Okay, for both of the two batches of pretzels that I just made, I'm going to bag each one of them into a um, pretzel bag. And I'm just going to put about nine pretzels in each bag. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just tie off the top part with just a rubber band. And then to decorate them, I'm taking these tags and you can download these in the description below. I'm just going to tie a ribbon around the top tied into a bow. I'm going to attach my tag and I'm also going to attach it with a, a wooden um, heart that I got over at, uh, I think I got them at Hobby Lobby. Just so punch a hole in your tag and then just go ahead and thread your ribbon through the back part and then go ahead and grab one of the tags as well, the wooden tags, and put those together. Now this is a quick and inexpensive um, little treat, but once you get all the ribbon and the, and the little wooden pieces onto it, it really does make it look like an, a nice gift. Not only do these look amazing, they taste amazing. Let me know which one you like best in the comments. Okay, on this next one, we're going to take some pretzel rods and we're going to take some more of the white um, almond bark. And we're going to melt up some almond bark. I'm going to melt about four cubes of it. And then I'm going to take my pretzel rods and I'm just going to kind of roll them in here. And then I'm going to sprinkle them while they're still wet with some, um, some Valentine sprinkles. And you put it however many on there you want to. And then just lay them on your cookie sheet. And I've covered my cookie sheet with parchment paper. Just keep going until you have as many as you want. But just go ahead and put a lot of sprinkles on them. And then after you get all of them done, go ahead and put them in the freezer and let them set up. Okay, then I'm just going to go ahead and bag these in the little pretzel bags, long pretzel bags. I think these are like 11 inches in length. And um, if you got any sprinkles in there, I'm just shaking mine out. And then I'm just going to put a rubber band around the bottom of it. 
And then next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a ribbon and some tags. Now I've given you the download for these tags in the description below. They're two and a half inch circle tags and you can just download them and cut them out. And if you have a two and a half inch punch, it makes it a little bit easier to cut them out. And then I'm just going to take a, a red um, ribbon and I'm just going to tie it right around the bottom area of the pretzel. And then I'm going to attach my tag with some uh, baker's twine. Just spending a little bit of time on your presentation really goes a long way. That was pretty easy and look how good those turned out. For this one, I'm just going to cover a cookie sheet with some parchment paper. And I bought store-bought Rice Krispie Treats. And I'm just going to attach a stick to them. So I'm going to dip the stick into my almond bark and put it into my Rice Krispies Treat. And that way, when that dries, it'll stay on there. Okay, then I'm just going to take the almond bark and I'm just going to dip my Rice Krispies Treat halfway into the white chocolate or the white almond bark. And then just kind of shake off any excess that you have on there. And then I'm just going to cover this with some sprinkles. Now, the smaller the sprinkles that you can get, the better off you are because it just it looks a lot better. And just do all those until you get them done. And then you're going to put them in the freezer to let them set. And they set up in the freezer probably in about 10 minutes. So you can um, start bagging them. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and start bagging them and I'm just going to put them in a plastic bag and I'll give you the link for these bags that I got online and just go ahead and put a ribbon around the bottom of them. And then on these we're going to do the same thing we did with the other ones. We're just going to go ahead and attach a ribbon to them but we're going to run it through one of these little heart doilies. Just run it through like that. And then run it through the back part and wrap it around and then tie it off in the front. This really was a really cute way to wrap these. You know, it kind of really made it look a little bit bigger than it was. There you go. That's how good those turned out. That's super cute. You could make a basket full of all of these together if you wanted to. This next one's super simple too. We're just going to melt some white chocolate almond bark. And I'm just going to use these jumbo marshmallows. Then I'm going to take a stick, dip it in the chocolate like I did before, and put it into my marshmallow to make sure it stays in there. After I get them all sticked, I'm just going to go ahead and stick it into the white um, chocolate almond bark. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with sprinkles. Now, I changed my mind on this one because the sprinkles were a little bit big on this one. And so I did end up going back with some smaller sprinkles. So the smaller the sprinkles that you use on any of these, it really is a little bit better than the bigger sprinkles. And just keep going till you get them all dipped and um, sprinkled, and then we're gonna then we're gonna package them. And on these, I'm all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in a bag and tie it off on the bottom with a rubber band, and then we're gonna attach a ribbon and a um, mini cupcake holder. So just cut the bottom off the mini cupcake holder because you want it to go through the plastic and everything. And then we're just going to slide it right up on that stick to make it kind of look like it's a flower. And then I'm just going to tie a ribbon around the bottom just to kind of tie it all together. There you have it. That was super simple and it really looks good. Okay, for this one, we're just going to line a cookie sheet with aluminum foil. And then I'm going to take one sleeve of, of saltine crackers and I'm going to line the bottom of it. Now, you can use any brand of saltines. Actually, the cheaper, the better. I think these were the Kroger brand because they are going to be covered with so much sugar, you're not even going to know which brand you got. So... But that's just one sleeve that I'm putting down for this. Just make sure that you get them lined up good enough to where they touch each other. And guys, this stuff tastes amazing. And I'm just going to break these off and put them in the bottom. Okay, next I'm going to take a saucepan. I'm going to put two sticks of butter. And I'm using salted butter on mine. And then I'm going to put one cup of packed brown sugar. 
Okay, then I'm going to put this on the stove under medium heat and I'm going to cook this until it comes to a boil and then I'm going to continue to cook it for five minutes after it comes to a boil. But you do want to spend some time stirring this because you don't want to walk away from it. Okay, and after it's come to a boil, then go ahead and take it over to your crackers and go ahead and saturate them. Now make sure that you get some on all of them and kind of use your spoon to, sp to stir it around. But you want to make sure that every bit of those crackers are covered. Okay, then you're going to bake this at 325 degrees for 8 minutes. Okay, while that's baking, we're going to use, um, we're going to cut up three-fourths of a 24-ounce um, bag of the white almond bark. And I'm just going to put this in the microwave for one minute intervals, and it takes two full minutes to melt that much. Next, I'm going to take some of the pink um, chocolate melts. And I got those at Michael's. I'm just going to melt those down a little bit too. Then you pour all the white chocolate over the crackers that came out of your oven. And you can do this right out of the oven while it's still hot. And just kind of smooth it out real good. Just make sure you get it completely covered. Now I'm just going to get the rest of it out of my bowl with a little spatula. Okay, then you're going to take the pink and you're just going to kind of take your fork and you're just going to kind of shake it all over your, um, all over the white chocolate and go both ways. You're going to go one way and go the other way. And then we're going to drag it here in a minute to make it look more like marble. But right now, I'll just try to get as much on there as you can. And then just kind of drag it with your fork both ways until it kind of looks like it's swirled up. Then put it in the freezer and let it chill. Okay, now we're going to just go ahead and break it up. I'm just going to take a knife and start breaking it up into pieces. And you want to break this up into a lot of different pieces so you can get a lot of different packaging for it. Then next, I'm just going to go ahead and take these little cups that I got at um, Michael's. And I'm just going to start filling them up. They're just little dessert cups. And you put it however many you want to put in here or how little you want to put in here. It just depends. And then I'm just going to take a rubber band and tie it up around the top. Okay, then you can download these tags in the description below. They're two and a half inches. You can punch them out with a punch. And then I'm just going to go ahead and attach them with some baker's twine. And then I'm going to put a red ribbon around the whole container. And you could just use the bags if you didn't want to use the cups, but they came out amazing. And I'm telling you, you want to make a batch for yourself because you will love how this stuff tastes. It's so good. Okay, next you're going to take a silicone mold, and I'll give you the link for it. It's the perfect size for some Oreos. And you're just going to take six blocks of white chocolate um, almond bark and melt it down for two minutes. Then you're just going to go ahead and put one layer into the bottom. And then we're going to put our Oreos on top. Now, you do not want to fill this completely up full. I know a lot of people do, but these end up getting to be so thick that it's really hard to bite them after they get so so thick. So you just want to make sure that you just put a little bit of chocolate on the bottom and a little bit of chocolate on the top, just enough to cover the Oreo. It's going to kind of shake that down and then we're going to put our Oreos in it. And you're just going to just drop them right on top. And then we're going to put another layer of the white chocolate over the top of that. Just enough to cover it. Don't fill the cavities. And then after we do that, we're going to, we're going to shake it down again. Then we're going to put it in the freezer and let it set up. Okay, now that they're set up, we're just going to go ahead and pop them out. We're going to start decorating them. And I'm using that same um, white, I mean, the same um, pink melts that I got at Michael's on this project as well. Just going to melt this up, and then we're just going to kind of sprinkle it on here. Just kind of take your fork and kind of shake it on here. And we're going to go both ways, and then I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to put a few um, little sprinkles on it. And 
And then I'm just going to bag these in the same little bags I used a little bit ago. And then I'm just going to tie them off with a rubber band as well. And then we're going to put a ribbon on them. And then I'm also going to decorate them a little bit differently. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that here in just a second. And then those hearts that I got, those are felt hearts. I got those at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to attach those with some baker's twine. So just take your piece of baker's twine. And you're going to just cut off enough to go around to the, the back of this. And come down the front and tie it off. And then I'm going to tie both of those. I'm going to keep both of those together and I'm going to attach my heart to one side of them. And then I'm going to flip it over and, and attach the same heart to the back side of them. Just kind of make sure you get them lined up good. All right, now it's pretty easy. And these turned out really cute. Okay, for this next one, I'm just going to take some rice check cereal and I'm going to put five cups in my bowl. And then I'm going to add two cups of pretzels and I'm going to break them up into pieces. And then I'm going to add a cup of cashew halves and then I'm going to put some M&Ms in here. Now I should have put more M&Ms than I did. So just if you want to put more, I think that's probably about a half a cup. But I think you should add more. Then you kind of get it all mixed up good together. And then we're going to go ahead and coat it with some um, white almond bark. And I'm just going to use um, three-fourths of a, of a package, a 24-ounce package. And I'm just going to go ahead and melt it and then I'm just going to go ahead and stir it in. Just kind of make sure that you do get it pretty evenly coated. And then we're going to put it on a um, parchment paper lined cookie sheet. Spread it out really good. And then I'm going to add some sprinkles to it. And then we're going to put the whole thing in the freezer for about 10 minutes till it sets up. Okay, after it's set up, you're just going to take it and just kind of take your hands and just break it up into smaller pieces. Okay, then I'm just going to take these little ice cream cones that I got at Kroger and I'm wrapping them with a doily that I got over at um, Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to stick it all the way down into the bottom of a cone-shaped bag. And then I'm going to add my snack mix to it just to kind of fill it up to make it look like an ice cream cone. And then I'm just going to tie it off with a rubber band and then we're going to decorate it here in a little bit. Just kind of get it as full as you want. I went pretty close to the top. Just enough to tie on my rubber band. Okay, then I'm just going to tie a bow around the top part. And I'm going to take one of these hearts, these jeweled hearts I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put it right in the center of my other heart on the outside of the bag. And you can use these um, cones for all kinds of different um, gifting ideas with food. They do, they really look cute. And this one batch made 12 of these. See how cute those are? Okay, if you only have one person to give to and you want to make a big statement, you can make a bouquet out of five of the um, pretzel sticks. And I'm just going to take my um, paper. I got this at Dollar Tree. Open it up. I'm going to fold over one side. I'm going to put a rubber band around the whole bunch just to hold them together. Just kind of put them up at the top. And then you're just going to fold your paper over. From one side to the other, then you're going to fold it up. And then just wrap it around. And then I'm just going to tie a ribbon around the whole bundle. And then I'm going to add a wooden heart to it. And then I'm going to add some little Valentine heart sticks. This turned out super cute. I was real happy with this one. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like.
Okay, for the first one, I'm just going to take a three inch styrofoam ball and I'm going to cut it in half. And you want to make sure you get a styrofoam ball that's big enough to overhang your mug. And then I'm just going to take these little um, suckers that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put them all around and cover up my entire piece of styrofoam. And this only took just one bag of these little suckers. Okay, next I'm just going to fill my mug with some candy. And then I'm just taking a straw and I'm going to cut it down to two little pieces that are about two and a half inches in length. I'm taking those sucker sticks that I cut off of there to put inside of here to attach it to my styrofoam. And I'm just going to take a little punch to punch a hole in there and put those in. Okay, next I'm going to take a piece of three inch craft foam and I'm just going to attach it to the bottom because my suckers did start to come out the bottom just a little bit just to kind of cover it up and, and clean up the bottom. And then I'm just going to attach this with some 3D glue dots. I just put four of them on here and that's what's going to hold my um, styrofoam to my mug. And this really did hold this well. I'll show you. I'm going to turn it upside down in a minute and show you how good it held. And then I just added a ribbon and a little heart to my mug. I got out of the video on that one, but it turned out super cute. Okay, this next one, I got this little kit on Amazon. It came with like 24 different shovels. The orange ones, I'm going to save for another project because I don't want to use them on my Valentine's. It came with some ribbon also. I'm not going to use it. It came with bags and tags. The ribbon just didn't really match. So what you're going to do is you're just going to fill each one of your little shovels up first. Now make sure you fill them up first because once you put them in that bag, it's pretty tight. You're not going to be able to put anything in there. And just slide them in. You don't want to overfill these because you will rip your bags. And then I'm adding a few M&Ms in here just for some color. And then I'm going to just tie it all up with a ribbon. Okay, I'm just going to take some um, Baker's Twine to attach my little tag. And then I'm just going to tie a bow on it. This was a super easy project. It was pretty inexpensive. If you've got a big class to do, um, this would be a great little kit to purchase. I've seen these on... Um, all over Pinterest, but I didn't know where they got them until I started searching for them. And then Amazon is where they have this kit. And I'll give you the link for that kit in the description below. These turn out so cute and you really don't have to spend a lot of money on the candy for them. Next one, I'm just going to punch some tags out and I've given you the link to these in the description below. I'm going to take these little test tubes with a flat bottom and I'm just going to fill them up with some M&Ms. Now, I've had mine for a little while, but I'll give you a link to some that are very similar to them on Amazon. I'm just going to punch my tags out. I'm just going to attach them with some baker's twine. And then I'm just going to uh, tie a ribbon around the whole thing. These are pretty quick and easy and they, they turned out super cute. And these would be great for like co-workers. Okay, see how cute those turned out? They're pretty simple. Okay, for the next one, I'm going to take one of the Dollar Tree little um, bears, and I'm going to take a comb, and I'm going to comb every bit of his body. This will make the hair on these stand up so much nicer if you just take some time to really comb these out. Okay, then I'm taking one of the little Dollar Tree hearts. I'm just going to fill it up with some candy. And then I'm going to attach this to my bear with some baker's twine. I'm just going to tie it around his neck like he's wearing a little necklace. And then most of these items just came from the Dollar Tree, so you really don't have a lot of money tied up into this. I'm making these for my grandkids. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tie the whole thing up with a ribbon, and I am doubling up my ribbon. And then just tie a bow on it. Pretty simple. And then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to put one of my little tags on it as well. All right, see how cute they came out? Okay, on this one, I'm just taking some jars with these cork lids and I'm just going to go ahead and fill them up with some conversation hearts. And I got these little jars on Amazon. They come 12 to a pack. And then I'm just going to tie a ribbon around them to hold the lid on good. 
Then after I get my ribbon on and tie it in a bow on top, I'm just going to take a piece of tape just to hook it to the bottom just to make sure it stays in place. And then I'm coming back with some hearts that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm going to double them up. I'm going to put a white one and a pink one together and I'm just going to attach this to the front part of this jar. This was a really quick and easy one and it turned out real cute. All right, see how quick and easy that was? Okay, for this next one, I'm just going to take these little flower pots, and I got these at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to paint them with some red chalk paint. Then I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to distress them a little bit with some white chalk paint. And then I'm just going to cut a little pool noodle, just a little donut size off of it, and I'm going to push it down inside of my little um, flower pot to hold my candy. And you can use any kind of styrofoam you want. I'm just going to go ahead and put these little suckers that I got at Dollar Tree. And they came in this one bundle just like this. I'm going to put them inside of my flower pot, inside the hole there. And then I'm going to take a heart that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to cut the bottom of it off. And I'm just going to wrap it around and glue it inside. And this will help cover up the styrofoam so they don't see it. Okay, then I'm just going to glue my um, heart to the inside of my flower pot. And I'm going to do, use the little half to come in front, just to kind of seal it all inside. Okay, then I'm just going to put my little suckers back inside of here, and then I'm just going to tie a ribbon around the front. And then I'm just going to attach a little embellishment to it. And I got these little hearts at Hobby Lobby. Okay, that was pretty simple. Now on this next one, I'm going to do something very similar, except I'm going to actually add suckers and push them into the styrofoam or into the pool noodle. And then I'm just going to wrap one of those hearts around the whole back part of it. Just make sure it's sealed in good you, you, and it covers it up. And then I'm just going to attach my heart to the back. And I did this one this way because I had enough suckers to completely cover up the, the pool noodle so you didn't see it. And I'm just going to attach an embellishment to this one too. And I'm just going to cut the bottom tip off so it stands up good. This was a pretty quick and easy project and it didn't cost a lot to do. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. For this one, I'm just going to take these little lunch bags, the little mini lunch bags. I'm just going to cut the top part off with some wavy scissors. Then I'm just going to fold the flap over and I'm just going to punch up two holes with my paper punch. Next, I'm going to take some um, scrapbook paper, and I'm just going to cut it to where it goes across those two holes. And then I'm going to cut it down to where about it's about um, three-fourths of the weight, the length of the bag. And then I'm just going to take my scissors, and I'm just going to cut a little V in the bottom of it to make it look like a tag. And then I'm just going to link, put it up next to my bag, and I'm just going to punch the same holes through it as well. Just try to get it centered on there. Just get it lined up good. And then I'm going to take one of my little tags. I'm going to just punch a hole in it. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill my bag up with some candy. And I'm going to go ahead and tie a ribbon around the front part of it. And I'm just using some little Smarties I got at Dollar Tree. And then some other little Smarties that are separate. Just fold your bag over. Put your tag on it. Run your ribbon through both of them. This was real quick and easy too. Very inexpensive to make. Just run both of your ribbon through the back part of this, the back hole. They're going to both go through the same hole and just tie it in a bow. Then I'm just going to add a little um, glitter heart to the front part. And I'm going to add a binder clip at the top. If you're looking for something super quick and easy, this one here is real a real good one to do. For this one, I'm just going to take a little Dollar Tree heart that has like glitter inside of it. I'm taking the little Dollar Tree heart um, fillable ornaments. I'm just putting M&Ms in them, and I'm just going to tie a ribbon around the front, I mean around the top to hold it together. I'm just going to tie it in a bow. 
Then I'm going to take some double-sided um, adhesive and I'm just going to put this into the bottom of my tray and I'm going to attach my heart to it so it stays in place. Then I'm just going to take some candied hearts, some chocolate candied hearts that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to fill the rest of the tray up around it. Then I'm going to take a heat shrink bag and I'm going to shrink this all in here. Just put it in there. I'm just going to cut off the excess and then I'm going to tape it to the bottom to the, just the closure to make sure it stays closed. And then I'm going to take the corners and I'm just going to kind of wrap them in until all of them are kind of tucked in. And then I'm going to take my embossing um, gun and I'm just going to heat seal this whole thing up. And then I'm just going to take a ribbon and I'm just going to tie it around the whole thing. And then I'm just going to tie it in a bow. Put a little piece of tape on the back just to kind of secure it in place. And then I'm just going to attach one of my little tags to it as well. So if you're looking for some Valentine's treats to give away, these were all pretty quick and easy and pretty inexpensive. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like. If you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it.